Hello, welcome to my art channel. My name is Linda and I'm going to make a bloom today. Um, when you make a bloom, you have to use some base paint. I call it pillow paint. Um, and usually they use um, house paint um, for that. But I live in the Netherlands and I have uh, still not found um, a good house paint that won't crack down and everything. So um, I'm going to use some leftovers in this container to use as a base. Um, and they're a bit thick and that's just fine for uh, the base paint of a bloom. <clears throat> Before I'm going to uh, lay down the base paint, I'm going to uh, tell you about my colors and I'm going to um, use a little bit of red in the middle because um, it's not a, a proper base paint and I don't want to blow this weird blue grayish color into my beautiful reds. So I'm going to use Pyroli Red by Amsterdam. I've got Neftal Red by Amsterdam. And I've got Alice in Crimson by Liquitex. And then I'm going to use Black and White from Amsterdam. So I'm going first going to put some reds in there because I don't want to blow into my base paint and mix some of that blue gray grayish color into my beautiful bloom. Okay, now I'm going to <coughs> lay in my base paint. Well, I already told you that in my pre previous videos that I almost never throw away paints. So I've got this uh, container on my uh, table always. So um, when I have got some leftovers, I put them in that um, container. I've got a new torch. My husband gave it to me. Oh, look at that. That's great. So sweet of him and it's working perfect. So I've um, popped the air bubbles by using the torch and now I'm going to layer my paints in the middle. I haven't told you that this is a 20 centimeter round canvas. I love to work on round Canvases. I think I didn't use that for a long time and it wasn't mixed properly. And some black. Both these colors are opaque. Um, so I, hopefully they don't take over. Liquitex. Beautiful warm color, Alison Crimson and then Neftal Red. Um, all the reds that I use are um, semi transparent, semi opaque. I think I'm going to use. One more round. All the reds. So, and then I will use my cell activator. My cell activator uh, is. Um, Titanium white by Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floatrol. I um, in the description box you can see all my colors and my mixtures, 
and I will layer something in the middle. Usually I cut a little bit of cell activator. Now I've got some bit more. Oh, love this torch. My husband is the greatest. Here we go. I'm sorry about my hat. The first blow, I think I've got, I blew a little bit too much into the blue. We'll, we'll see how that will turn out. If I look at it, I think it's probably more gray from the black and white than it is from the bluish, grayish uh, base paint. I am going to um, grab a little stick and then um, wiggle a little bit. So I, I, yeah, I can start in the blue. That doesn't matter that much. Hopefully, I will spin it off because my painting is on a spinner today and I'm going to make a mess <laughs> um, I'll grab a newspaper old newspaper to uh, protect myself <laughs> because this is going to rain paint when I spin mm, before I'm I'm going to spin. I give you give you a close-up look. Oh, I'm so happy! I hope it spins out beautiful. These colors, just white, black, and some reds. Perfect. You can never go wrong with these colors. See so. Here we go. I will start slowly. I um oh look at that all the grayish blue is almost disappeared. That's perfect. We'll spin the other other way. And my spinner is um covered with uh, foil so it will stay clean and neat. Just have to remove the foil. Oh, this is great. I love round canvases. This bit. I'm happy that I used a little bit more cell activator than I used to do. All oh, those cells, so, so pretty. I think here probably do say, see a little bit um, greenish blue just maybe I will just tilt it that way that the amount of paint is more over there and then I'll spin this again I love it. Give it a good spin. I hope you're not getting dizzy over there. <laughs> I'll probably think it's more of a grey and not so much my base paint. I see here a little spickle. Um, probably there was an air bubble. 
and I popped it and then the base paint came through. I don't know if you can see it. Almost on the edge. So I'm going to spin um, at least one more time to um, get to lost of that. Oh, it's beautiful. So, so pretty. I think I'm going to spin one more time. I don't have to worry about uh, my canvas flying off this spinner because I uh, taped it um, on the back to the spinner. So it won't fly around the room around the studio right here oh it's so pretty it's so pretty well when i have to be very honest i love all of this here beautiful the middle here with the white uh, cells but this is my least favorite part but i don't think that I have enough paint to get that off. I will try one hard big spin. Let's see. No, I think I don't can I can't get that off. But it's all right. There are some pretty nice lines. Because I en enhanced it with my little uh, stick. Oh, it's beautiful. No. One last close-up of this beautiful piece. And then I will let it dry. So happy. Beautiful. Thank you for um, being with me on my YouTube channel. I would love to have you uh, back, so uh, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you uh, will be notified, notified when uh, I've got a new video online, so you won't miss a thing. And please like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!